through a, a beach shack right now and this is one of the busy roads here in Goa and you're not gonna find a lot of uh, signs to go to the beach so most of these side streets here take you to the beach hello <laughs> cool structure here and uh, also uh, they don't tell you the name of the beach so we're probably gonna go to Kandalam beach I even sure the name but Namaskar Namaskar <laughs> so yeah hello <laughs> it's hot again today yes. it's not even the afternoon mind you it's 11 34 forest like this and after you see an entrance to the beach It's like we're going hiking. Red horns, eh? No, I think they painted it. You think so? I do. He's up. Scooter parking here, I guess. Namaste. Hello, hello. <laughs> here, right? Yeah. Are you? Good morning. Not the cleanest uh, covers here, unfortunately. That's one thing we noticed. Not the cleanest. Here's the inside. Very nice. With some shade, you'll get some. People drinking, people eating, and just relaxing. Very, very nice. We're just setting up now. It's November, so not everything is uh, functional. Like the kitchen, but pretty sure in a week or two it's going to be busy could be fun That's it. No way. Unreal, man. That's like not even a fucking minute. That's not even a minute. Wow, wow, wow. 
incredible, man. This is why I don't do any uh, tours or water sports here, man. Supposedly, uh, jet ski is just a minute as well. Wow, wow, wow. There's some YouTube videos of people promoting water sports here, like that stuff. And I don't know what exactly what the prices are, but they're not expensive. But literally, you go on a one minute tour on a jet ski with someone behind you. So that's that. And you just saw the banana boat, which was literally a minute. And the parasailing is probably the same. So I don't know. I, I can't say it's a scam because you are doing it and there's tons of people lined up to do it but as my experience of doing water sports in Mexico and Florida yeah you get to rent uh, the jet ski for at least half hour right yeah I know it's more expensive but at least you have half hour with it and even the, the power sailing when I tell you tours in India are different and especially in Goa well this is what I mean like you're paying cheap prices but you're getting really less thrills bottom line in november uh i can say the sunsets were uh, spectacular uh, they were okay but it's very hazy very hazy at nighttime so you don't get uh incredible sunsets i'm not sure if it's if that's going to change in december or january but uh, after obviously uh, being in uh, Mexico for a few years, uh, we didn't get the haziness in uh, the ocean. So we had uh, beautiful sunsets there. Again, not complaining. I'm just uh, pointing it out. Tourist police have arrived. For Mama Cecilia since 1982. And Mira, Mira, look. No, it's in this one. Look, look at this. All in Russian. Russian. All in Russian. Vladimir, Vladimir Putin was here. Stop it. Oh, Ovechkin was here. Look at this. All in Russian. Yeah, that's how much Russian customers they get. This might be uh, one of the last videos that I do here in uh, Goa. I'm going to give you my review of Goa. I'm gonna say the pros, you're in the month of November and the weather is nice. It does get hot uh, in the afternoon. Uh, I do find it still humid here. So if other people, other videos say that it's not humid, well, take it from me, coming from Mexico, being very humid, it's still pretty humid here, but there's no rain in November. Uh, beaches are nice, uh, not crystal clear water, but obviously very, very nice and pretty. I do feel that water is almost everywhere we've been to all the beaches we've been to not every single one obviously but the water is pretty much the same everywhere uh, lots of restaurants here uh, international cuisine as well we haven't gone to that many restaurants because our hotel has a massive uh, our hotel is a pretty big uh, buffet i would say one of the top pros of uh, goa is cheap liquor and tons of liquor stores everywhere like beyond everywhere 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 now just to say a few cons i will say that we are the month of november like i mentioned and it's getting busy nighttime very busy streets are packed uh the clubs obviously we haven't gone to any uh there's clubs everywhere packed uh restaurants are packed and it's loud it's noisy and well we don't like that so we tend to stay at our hotel and just relax and it's only gonna get worse so December gonna get really really busy January as well and then it's supposed to calm down uh, beaches could be cleaner if people pick up their trash love is the strongest force the world possesses Mahatma Gandhi so yes love mother Gaia and please help keep her clean especially at the beach as the plastics go into the ocean and harm the marine life love the animals as this kind man is doing it warmed our heart to see him feeding the stray dogs. We thanked him and gave him some money to buy more food for the doggies. And love your fellow neighbors, as this kind family showed us. As we were walking along the beach, they were super kind enough to share their beer with us. Thank you. If we all did our part in being kind and spreading love, 
the world would be a much better place. Namaste and all the light to you. Anita, for everything. Hopefully, we come soon again to visit you in this beautiful place and beautiful Goa. <laughs>